The fast and agile MiG-21 had been limited by a primitive radar, short range, and limited weapons load. Work on a replacement began in the early 1960s. The replacement aircraft was required to have better performance and range than the MiG-21, while carrying more capable avionics and weapons. Demands for takeoff and landing performance was also higher, as well as for improved low-level speed and handling. Two designs were considered, one design using lift jets and one design using variable geometry wings. A prototype using lift jets flew for the first time on April 3, 1967, but it proved unsatisfactory. A parallel team developed a prototype using variable geometry wings, and it flew for the first time June 10, 1967. Six more flight prototypes, and two static test prototypes were developed for further testing. All the prototypes used the Tumansky R27-300 turbojet engine. Production of the MiG-23 was started in December 1967, and the first production MiG-23S made its maiden flight May 21, 1969. The earliest versions were limited to using the AA-2 Atoll missile. In the 1970s, the AA-8 AFID replaced the AA-2, and from the MiG-23M and onwards, the AA-7 Apex was carried. The MiG-23 MLD is capable of carrying the AA-11 Archer missile. Ground attack armament includes 57mm rocket pods, general-purpose bombs up to 500 kg, gun pods and AS-7 carry radio-guided missiles. The cockpit layout of the MiG-23 took greater account to human factors than earlier Soviet fighters. The cockpit visibility, however, was poor looking to the rear, and to assist the pilot a periscope was fitted. The MiG-23 was intended to become a main fighter of the Soviet and Warsaw Pact countries, but very quickly the disadvantages of the aircraft became evident, and it did not replace the MiG-21 as was planned. Instead, the MiG-23 was used to replace older MiG-17s and MiG-15 still in service. The hourly operating cost of the MiG-23 was higher than for the MiG-21, and when the aircraft approached high angle of attack, it became very unstable. The MiG-23 was a poor dogfighter, but a good interceptor capable of hit-and-run attacks. Soviet MiG-23s were used in the Soviet-Afghan War. It is reported that MiG-23s clashed with Pakistani F-16s during the war. Two MiG-23s were claimed shot down, and one F-16 was claimed shot down in 1987. In 1988, MiG-23s shot down two Iranian AH-1J Cobras that had entered into Afghan airspace. Syria operated MiG-23s from 1973. During the 70s and the 80s, Syrian MiG-23s clashed with the Israeli Air Force several times. The MiG-23 has also been used by the Syrian Air Force during the Syrian Civil War. MiG-23s was used by the Iraqi Air Force in both the Iran-Iraq War and the First and Second Gulf Wars. The aircraft type was also used by Cuba in Angola during the 1980s, and in Libya both before and during the Libyan Civil War. The MiG-23 has been used by several other countries, and remain in service in a number of countries in 2021. <laughs>